Greetings from China. I'm Mike Bellamy, founder of the Passage Maker Group of Companies and a guest lecturer at the China Sourcing Academy. I've been living pretty much full-time in Asia since 1993, and today I'd like to share with you some of the lessons I learned over those years. Now, a lot of third-party logistics companies, also known as 3PL, will say they have global coverage in their marketing, but I've found that when you dig deep into their experience, they tend to focus on certain shipping routes or destination ports. And those giant freight forwarders that do have offices around the world are generally not interested in smaller accounts. So let me share with you how to find the right 3PL for your particular needs. Just like picking suppliers in China, the problem isn't finding a 3PL, as there are so many to choose from. The problem is how to find the right one for your particular needs. Assuming you keep it easy and purchase FOB China Port from your supplier, FOB meaning freight on board, as opposed to like EXW, where you take title to the goods at the Chinese factory, then the role of your 3PL will be to orchestrate the movement of goods from the China Port to your destination port back home. In most cases, this means organizing ocean freight or express air for the international leg of the journey. Then they handle the customs clearance into your nation, plus local trucking and domestic delivery to you. As such, you should be looking for a 3PL that has experience importing products from China into the specific destination port that you have in mind back home. Here's how to do it. One, pick up the phone book or do an internet search with keywords such as 3PL or freight forwarders plus the name of the port. Yeah, who uses the phone book anymore? This will most likely generate a significant list. The next step is to contact them and learn if they will be a good fit for you. I like third parties, I like third party logistics providers that have at least five years of experience uh, importing products from China into my given destination port. If the service provider can't give you a client reference, then they're probably not worth doing business with, so ask for references. Once you narrow it down to a handful of options based on your initial talks and references, ask for an estimate on freight. What separates the great logistics companies from the good ones will be the format and the timing of their quotation. If they take more than a few days to get a quote back to you, it probably means that they don't have a well-developed shipping channels and are trying to set up something just for your order. Try to avoid having your order as serving as some 3PL's first attempt at doing business in China. Pay special attention to the format of their quote. It should be an actual form based on a template, not just a few sentences or a price sent casually via email. If they don't have a set format for estimates or quotes, this is a real bad sign about their level of professionalism. The quote should be an easy to understand document, and if you're unclear about a particular line item on the quote, then that 3PL should be able to explain to your satisfaction quickly and easily what does it mean. Don't be afraid to ask questions. It's much better to ask in advance um, than wait and get hit with some surprises later on. Um, shipping rates change on a day-to-day -day basis. And unless you're ready to ship immediately after receiving the quote, most likely the quote will be an estimate. So I like to use third-party logistics companies that will hold their quote valid for a certain time or at least offer to re-quote as we get closer to the actual ship date so that the buyer knows the exact cost in advance of hitting send. Now, unfortunately, on countless occasions, I've had shippers send me invoices after delivery which were much higher than the agreed estimate. So as you're confirming price, ask the powerful question, does this price include everything to get the product from point A to B, even taxes, duties? Is there anything not included? And will you put in writing that the amount to be invoiced will not exceed the agreed estimate? It also helps to negotiate your terms with the shipper so that you pay them after delivery as opposed to paying up front for shipping. But actually you don't have a lot of leverage because the shipper has physical control of your goods and could choose not to immediately release them if there are any confrontations about pricing or who owes who money. So it's very important to find a reputable and professional shipper um, and negotiate the terms up front, get the pricing confirmed well in advance before you start doing business. On that note, as always, I sign off wishing you successful sourcing in China. If you found the information on this video useful, please return the favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and post some comments, or check out my blog and subscribe to my monthly newsletter. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'm easy to reach. Find me on LinkedIn, contact me at the China Sourcing Academy, or visit any of my company's websites.